Hello, just a really quick video on how to use my powder paints. Um, thanks so much for trying them out. I'm going to demonstrate today using the world's pinkest pink because it's my favourite. But it's the same for all the powder colours. I'm going to show you how they work. First of all, what have you got? It's a highly pigmented powder paint. That means you've got a mixture of pigments in here which gives it its vibrancy and colour. Um, you've also got a binder. I've added a water-soluble binder to these pigments, so this works perfectly well as a watercolour. What I would say is if you're going to go on a canvas, canvas has got a bit of give and a bit of bounce, so you might find if you mix this too thick it could crack. So you want to test that out before you go on a really big important piece. So get to know this stuff before you make anything that uh, is really important. Anyway, uh, with all that said, let's jump in and I'll show you how you can use it as a water paint first. So, the first thing you would do is you'd um, pour out a bit of powder. And the thing you'll find with these fluoro colours is when you add water to them, or in fact any acrylic medium or linseed oil, they start to activate. So, mix a little bit in at first. It's a little bit by little bit kind of process. Mix a bit in and um, what you're looking for ultimately is a paste. You want a thick kind of gloopy paste. And the water to paint ratio, I mean it is a small amount of water and a lot of pigment. So you wanna get that balance right. And that'll give you that thick paste that you really want. You can always dilute it down later. Okay, so um, that's done now. Uh, as I say, you can add water to it from here to dilute it down, get more of a sort of watercolour kind of wash effect, or you can use it quite thick like this. Again, if you're putting it on a flexible surface, I wouldn't recommend using it as a water paint. It could crack or build up lots of uh, quite thin layers. Anyway, um, let's just have a little look at how it goes. There you go. So it's a pretty good super pink uh, water-based paint. It'll also play really, really nicely with almost any acrylic medium or gel. Um, I'm going to use uh, Winter & Newton matte gel. It's as good as anything. It, I've tested it with Golden, Liquitex, most other stuff. You can go from matte or a gloss depending on the finish that you want. And I would again, if you're making a big serious piece of work, you want it to last, perhaps you're working on canvas, I'd recommend going the acrylic route or um, mixing in some linseed oil and creating an oil paint out of this. I can't show you the linseed process because I'm actually allergic to it. Um, so you have to take my word for it and you're gonna have to experiment uh, with that. So. Uh, with that said, this is how you make an acrylic paint out of the stuff. What you want to do is get a decent uh, dollop, if it will do it, of uh, medium instead of the water. And again, you want to mix in some powder paint and um, give it a little uh, mix together. Once you've got a paste that you quite like with the uh, acrylic medium, you can always thin this down uh, with a little bit of water if you want a little bit more flow. Um, so you can add a little splash just to get it moving, which is what I tend to do in my paintings. It's a tiny bit, a little goes an awfully long way. Absolutely fine. There you go, mix it in nicely. It's a bit of trial and error, you know, how much pigment do you want, how much medium do you want. And once you find that balance for your own work, um, you'll be off. Okay, so there you have it, a really nice uh, acrylic paint. So there you go, so there you have it, the world's pinkest pink acrylic paint. And this works exactly the same for all my powdered colours. So they can be acrylics, they can be oils, or they can be watercolours. So 
So there you go. Thanks a lot for trying it out. I can't wait to see what you make. The hashtag is share the black. Share what you're up to on Instagram. Thank you very much. See you later.